Boom! Motola Mohammed International Airport Lagos on fire as passengers scamper for safety. Here are the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 7th of March 2024, and I have a very important information for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very, very important. I can assure you, my people, especially those of you who are living in abroad, planning to return back home, or those of you who are planning to travel. Please, once you come across this very news, try as much as you can to share it to all the Facebook groups, wherever you belong, whether you are listening from YouTube or you are listening from Facebook, please endeavor to share it and make it go viral because this very news is very, very important, not only for Biafrans, also for Nigerians and other travelers around the globe. So without further ado, let us delve straight into the news. And as you can see on your screen, I will be reading first of all from Sahara Reporters after this. Then I will also show you from another Zoo Media in order for us to get the complete story of what really transpired. Now their title said, Passengers experience blackout during fire outbreak in Lagos International Airport. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Southwest PPRO, Ibrahim Farinloye, confirmed this during a telephone conversation with Sahara reporters. There was a temporary disconnection of electricity at the Motola Mohammed International Airport, MMIA, Lagos State, on Thursday. The National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, Southwest PPRO, Ibrahim Farinloye, confirmed this during a telephone conversation with Sahara reporters. It was a minor electrical spark at the old terminal of the local airport, he told Sahara reporters. They usually come with propaganda. They cannot tell you the actual story. That is the problem with the officials of the Zoological Republic. The event reportedly created an alarm among airport officials and passengers on Thursday morning as people hurriedly left the smoke-filled area for the departure hall. However, firefighters have been dispatched to the location to combat the fire. Only in February, there was a report on how passengers were plunged into darkness due to a power outage at the airport. This is not even the matter of uh, power outage. You see here, the man said it was a minor story. And here they say, however, firefighters have been dispatched to the location to combat, to combat the fire. We, I got a kwano this way, but we understand this English word. We are not novice. We understand the language. Firefighters have been dispatched to the location to combat the fire. Yet, the so-called uh, PPR or whatever they call him has said that it was a minor electrical spark. A minor electrical spark. Spark. Ordinary spark. We are going to read this same news from another Zoom media. He said it was a minor electrical spark. So, oh, it was a spark and you have to call firefighters for them to come and combat the fire yet you have told us that it was a minor electrical spark at the old terminal of the local airport is it the local airport is it truly the local airport and we want to know if the local airport is also called motala mohammed international airport we want to know or maybe sahara reporters and other zoo media that have also reported this same information do no longer know the meaning of local airport and of course international airport please you can correct me uh, you know in the comment section if 
the local airport is also called Mutala Mohammed International Airport. Maybe I am wrong. I don't know. So please correct me. Not even correct me. Teach me. Lecture me in the comment section if it's also called Mutala Mohammed International Airport. Now they said after the man lied that it was a minor electrical spark, they said, however, firefighters have been dispatched to the location to combat the fire. Only in February, there was a report on how passengers were plunged into darkness due to a power outage at the airport. A viral video had showed how the terminal was surrounded in darkness with people resorting to using their cell phones to illuminate the surroundings. Now, let me show you without wasting any time how other media has reported it as well and as you can see on your screen this is daily post nigeria they said passengers scamper to safety as fire breaks out at lagos airport passengers scamper for safety like as i said before we understand these english words passengers scamper to safety so if it was a minor electrical spark why should passengers scamper for safety it's still another question <laughs> another question now let's read passengers thought they ran for their dear lives when a fire broke out at the terminal of the e arrival finger of the motala mohammed international airport mmia lagos we want to know if they will also say it was a local airport here on daily post daily post gathered that the fire outbreak led to a power outage at the airport eyewitnesses eyewitnesses said the incident caused panic among workers and passengers at the airport as travelers hastily left the place which was engulfed by smoke for the departure hall so this is from the eyewitness this is a report from the eyewitness okay so we don't need the the the, the propaganda from the so-called ppr or whatever they call him we don't need the propaganda anymore an eyewitness has said the incident caused panic look at it here the incident caused panic among workers workers and passengers at the airport so why lying now they said however normal operations have started at the terminal as firefighters have put out the fire they said details shortly details shortly now we are yet to know or we are yet to be told the main cause of the fire outbreak because we are not in any way taking the propaganda from the so-called ppro whatever they call him he said his name is uh, someone ibrahim farin lawyer ppro ppro of nema so we don't take his propaganda because that is the zoo for you i don't know why anybody who is being placed in one office to serve the public will turn it into something else because everything they do in the zoo is to try to save the zoo both from shame and from disintegration as far as you are serving under the zoo government in whichever level your mentality is just to steal money and to push a narrative out there to save the zoo from shame and break up i don't know who always brainwashed them that is the reason why the zoo can never be won because they know that the zoo is breaking up into pieces that is the reason why once they appoint you or elect you into any office the first thing they tell you is how to apart from stealing the next thing is to push a narrative with whichever opportunity that calls push a narrative that the zoo is not going to be ashamed or break up so when this has become the order of the day that means there is no country there is no country because i don't remember when america germany uk uh, poland named them even here in africa 
where the government officials are busy, instead of them being busy to work for the country and for the citizens, they are busy pushing out propaganda to save the face of the so-called country. i never seen such a thing. Only in the zoo. This kind of a thing happens in the zoo alone. Tell us that yes, it was uh, you know a uh, 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 fire outbreak and uh, people are safe. We have you know tried our possible best to you know to stop the fire. Look at what they call a minor electrical problem. Look at your screen here. This this is fire service and this is the fire. It's this you can see smoke everywhere, and they call it a minor electrical issues. Anyways, I am very very happy that no life was lost everybody is okay i don't care the damages it cost whether the whole building collapsed or whatsoever is none of my business as far as people are safe no life was lost i give thanks to god for the lives and safety of all the passengers and workers around that very vicinity so it is okay but as long as the zoo is concerned you must always hear you know all this kind of ugly news each and every day and it will continue to happen until the zoo is finally broken up into pieces thank you my people and make it go viral they never see anything <laughs>